So 1047 Studios, developers of Splitgate, they quote in their de big announcement stream, Community first. Mm-hmm. Hey y'all, welcome to my GY6 Games, the game channel that provides you a variety of entertainment and content. Do those things that do those things that help a gamer out. Now let's get into the big announcement news the developers had. 1047 Studio over there in Stanford. What they had to say, that was that big announcement. In fact, let's go ahead and congrats them with their big announcement. Their biggest, their announcement was raising 100 million dollars 100 million dollars good for y'all but then y'all go and claim first thing at the beginning that y'all have community first as y'all's priority i just showed y'all in the intro what the fuck are up with these bundles that is not community first a we're still living through covid and y'all charge I may not have the evidence right now, but earlier, a week or two ago, y'all had a bundle for fucking $96, and it wasn't 60% off or any of that shit. $96. Quote me on it. I remember seeing it. Next thing they brought up. They're uh, aiming for quadruple A as a game. Um, I googled quadruple A, and it's practically... Y'all are just throwing like a some lipstick on Megan Fox. You know, there's triple A and that's still the top tier. Megan Fox doesn't need lipstick to be quad like to be quadruple fucking hot. She's already top tier. Alexandra Daddario. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why they're using these political words. Community first bullshit. Hey, I like the game. Don't fucking come at me like I'm a hater. I enjoy the game. Of course, there's some things that can be done to improve the game and the gameplay itself. But quadruple A, I don't understand what the fuck y'all are trying to... Dude, y'all are a gaming studio. Stop trying to invent vernacular, all right? Fucking quadruple A. All right. <laughs> and here's the thing. This is their big announcement. You know, community first. And then I hit... <sighs> I've heard this too many times from developers. And yet y'all keep using it like a fucking politician. Y'all also use the term clear transparency in y'all's communication with the player base. Bullshit. Stop using that, developers. We don't want to hear it. We know y'all are going to share with us what y'all want us to know. Not the shit... That's a stupid phrase. Stop fucking saying it. It doesn't mean shit. It's a, it's a politician's word. It comes in our ear, out the other. That's just a tip. We hate hearing that word now. It's like when you're watching a football interview or basketball, baseball, whatever it is. You're watching that interview. They, at the end of the day, when it's all that matters. We've heard it enough. Use some other shit, man. Damn. It's, it's played out. Anyway. They use this term unicorn, me. How do I get up there? right? This unicorn shit, and they even exp they even give us the definition to unicorn. A company valued at a billion dollars, and then they go flexing again on us. Yeah, we're uh, actually uh, valued for a 1.5 billion. We don't give a fuck. What the? What do we get with y'all making the? Community first. But this whole big announcement was about how bi how y'all are fucking balling with getting funds and shit. Hey, congrats! Now let's make the game better. Because I tell you what, playing with these bats is getting goddamn annoying. Anyway, and so they claim to be still totally independent. They're an independent studio, even though they just got this $100 million fund fundings from private and not, it's not like they're saying they're public so they have to you know appease the fucking shareholders i get that but uh, ugh, it just comes off 
Ugh. I had to take a shower after that fucking stream. I thought we we're gonna get all this cool news. It was just about them making that dough. Good for y'all. Y'all set up in life. Splitgate pays. Oh yeah. Okay. And then they finally explained what Splitgate actually is. And I believe it was the community director. He said they're paying homage to Halo and the childhood games of our our childhood. I guess. Yeah, I'm about their age range in the 30s. We did play Halo. I played a little Halo back in the day. I had a best friend. He had Xbox. I played Halo. There was Portal. I never played a day of it. But I could see the fun in it. And I enjoy it into putting this into a PvP game. That was an awesome idea. And I noticed y'all took a lot from Rocket League too. I love Rocket League. Great call. So I see this homage to the game. And I love it. So please do me a favor. Please oh God, stick to what y'all believe in. Do not listen to us. Do not listen to us. Go what y'all envisioned and fucking keep executing. Please, we fuck up the games. What we ask for, we always want the game easier and easier and easier. Please don't listen to us, but community first. Make us happy, but don't take our fucking suggestions and just run with them. Because we will just develop different metas. And you're just going to keep pissing off a, a portion of your player base every time you listen to a particular person who wants the game easier for their benefit. And lastly but not leastly, congrats with y'all finally getting this signed through eSports. Y'all are not officially even released yet. Y'all season zero beta. Now I got to get my hats off to that. Ooh, my hair. Oh, fuck it. Hats off to that making esports that is exciting that makes me excited to play the game and want to get better so good job on the esports good job on getting y'all's 100 mil good job being considered a fucking unif a goddamn unicorn but please spare us the politics please that's all i ask clear transparency no mas. Don't say that ever again. We don't buy it. Outriders does a great job at clear transparency. The game shit. It's not about clear transparency. It's about producing, executing good games. Anyway, that's my little rant on the big announcement dev talk provided by... I don't know their names yet. But they're kind of like stay of the game for the division. And... We appreciate those little dev talks. Just stop using the political words. Be real. Be real with us. I just did some goofy shit back there. I'm not happy about it, but I was real. Anyway, thanks for listening. And as always, I say, peace.